Hello everybody and welcome back to Crafts with Louisa. I have another fun craft for us prepared today and this one reminds us of another parable that Jesus told. If you tuned into our craft video last week, I told you that a parable is a story that Jesus used to teach people an important lesson and we're going to be learning about another parable today and that story is found in Matthew 18. The first part of this craft, we are going to be making a little bit of paste. So you're going to need flour, water, a little bit of salt, and then a bowl to mix them in. And you're also going to need a lot of um, newspaper. So for our first step, we're going to be making our paste. So I'm going to go ahead and dump my flour in. And before I add my water, I'm just going to make sure there's no huge clumps in there because that'll make it easier to work with. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my water and then stir this up. I've mixed up my paste. As you can see, it's pretty runny, and that is the consistency you'd like it to be, be to work best for our craft today. And I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt, and this is gonna help our paste really last long on our craft today. So give that another good mix. And we are ready to get started. For this step, I'm gonna cut my newspaper into some big long strips, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make. So check this out. All right, so I have all my paper cut. And now I forgot to tell you my secret ingredient is a balloon. So what you're gonna wanna do is blow up your balloon and then get your paste ready. All right, we have all of our ingredients now. I have my balloon all blown up and we're gonna get started. This is called paper mache. Paper mache. And I'm going to be layering my balloon with this newspaper and then this paste and it's gonna make a cool craft. So watch this. All right, so I have my balloon all covered in the newspaper and paste, the paper mache. The paper mache. And I am now just gonna let it dry. If you noticed, I started to use a paintbrush at the end because my hands were starting to look like one giant ball of pizza dough and it's getting hard to work with and you might wanna try that as well. And if you're looking for a quicker project, a smaller balloon will be easier to do. But for now, I'm gonna let this dry and then show you um, something that we're gonna be doing for our next step. All right, so while my balloon dries, I wanted to tell you a little bit about where we got this craft idea from. It's based off of another parable that Jesus told, and this one is about forgiveness. And this parable is found in Matthew chapter 18, and it's about a man who owed a lot of money. This was so much money that he could never pay it back. But the person he owed all the money to said, it's okay, he showed compassion and he said, you don't have to pay me back. I'll forgive you of all this money you owed. But the same man went to somebody else who only owed him a little bit of money and he tried to make him pay him back and threw him in jail because he couldn't pay him back just a little bit of money. He was shown so much forgiveness and then he couldn't show a little bit of forgiveness to his friend who owed him a little bit of money. And today for our craft, we're gonna be turning our paper mache, paper mache into a piggy bank. And this might remind us that when we're collecting money, we can be reminded of this story of forgiveness. Now, you might not owe someone a lot of money, but we know that we are all sinners because we are not perfect. And this story reminds us that God forgives us. Since Jesus was perfect, he was the sacrifice for our sins. So we owe God because we sin and we're not perfect and we need to be punished. But Jesus, when he died on the cross, paid that punishment for us. So we don't have to be punished for our sins because Jesus died on the cross and he paid the punishment for our sins, which is such a special gift. He died to make way for us to go to heaven. Now, when you look at your piggy banks, I hope this is a good reminder that Jesus died for our sins and God forgives us and that is such a special gift. If you'd like to hear more about this parable, don't forget that our Firelight Lessons are all posted on YouTube on Sunday morning so you can watch those as a family and learn more about this story. Alright, so I'm going to move on to a little bit of the decor. So you just need a toilet paper roll and a marker. We're going to color this whole thing black. Check it out. I have my 
my toilet paper colored and cut up like this and I'm ready to start decorating my balloon. You might notice I've changed. This is because I actually had to let this sit overnight so that it'd be completely dry. So this seems like it might be a two day project for you. Up next, I'm gonna pop the balloon and then decorate it and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make. So see if you can guess. All right, my piggy bank is done and I made it into a piggy piggy bank. And I hope when you make this at your house, it'll remind you that God forgives us of our sins, even when we can't repay him. And I wrote one of my favorite verses on the back. It's Romans 6, 23. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And I hope this is a great reminder for you in your homes that God forgives our sins, even when we don't deserve it. See you next time.